Hello dear students, in this lecture we will be discussing embryo culture technique under tissue culture techniques. So let us discuss what are the stages of embryogenesis. In plant cell, the stages of embryogenesis are globular shape, heart shape, torpedo shape and cotyledonary stage. So the embryo when it is formed after fertilization, first stage is globular you can identify it with the help of a globular structure then this globular structure after some times or some weeks turns into heart shaped structure then a torpedo and then a cotyledonary now what is embryo culture embryo culture is a plant tissue culture technique which is used to grow embryos from seeds and ovules in a nutrient medium so uh, this is a culture technique embryo culture is a plant is a embryo culture technique in plant tissue culture where the embryos are isolated from seeds and ovules and then they are cultured on a nutrient medium the aseptically isolated embryos uh, can be grown in a suitable medium under optimal conditions so what does that mean it means that when the embryo is isolated it is isolated in aseptic conditions it means germ free conditions using tissue culture techniques and then it is grown in a suitable medium uh, which is uh, generally basal medium supplemented with hormones in under optimal conditions in tissue culture labs so in general a complex nutrient medium is required for culture methods involving embryo rescue so when the embryo is culture uh, cultured or when the embryo is rescued then a uh, generally a medium is required which is generally a complex medium in embryo culture the plant develops directly from the embryo or indirectly through the formation of callus and then subsequent formation of shoots and roots so as we have already discussed in first lecture of plant tissue culture series that when the explant is cultured uh, the explant can directly give rise to the new plant or it develops via embryogenesis so the same thing happens in embryogenesis also the embryo can either directly form the new plant or first it forms a callus and then form shoots and roots so in this picture you can see that uh, this is a plant and these are the fruits and you can see that in a picture the embryos are isolated then this is cultured on a medium and then you can see that uh, the it is um, regeneration is taking place and the plant is developed uh, first shoots uh, in d and then they are transferred to a re rooting medium uh, where it is developing roots in e and f and finally g has a complete plant which is in h transferred to a soil so we have discussed this in first part of the lecture now let us discuss why embryo culture is done it is done when the embryo remains dormant for a long period so in some plants the embryo does not germinate quickly or immediately it remains dormant for a long period and in those plants embryo culture is very beneficial low survival uh, of embryos in vivo it means that when in nature the embryo uh, survival rate is very low then embryo culture is uh, is the best method to rescue embryo and then it is called embryo rescue method um, so what are uh, the conditions here embryo abortion can be avoided by isolated isolating and culturing the hybrid embryos prior to abortion wild hybridization involving crossing of two different species of plants from the same genus or from different genera often results in failure so this is mainly because of normal development of zygote and seed is hindered due to genetic barriers so in first case the embryo rescue method is when uh, the embryo is developed as a re result of intergeneric or interspecific hybridization 
and in those cases the survival rate is very low so I, uh, embryo can be isolated and it can be grown on a culture medium then uh, embryo rescue involves the culture of immature embryos to rescue them from unripe or hybrid seeds which fail to germinate this approach is very useful to avoid embryo abortion and produce a viable plant so in embryo rescue the first example where we can rescue the embryo is the embryos which are formed by interspecific or intergeneric hybridization where the survival rate is very low and in second case where uh, those embryos can also be rescued which uh, fail to germinate say for example the embryo has formed but it is not germinating so we can isolate the embryo and we can just try if it forms a new plant on a artificial culture medium under tissue culture conditions say in this example uh, the first example is your say there is a hybridization between potato and tomato so potato is your solenum tuberosum and tomato is your lycopersicon esculentum so when we say hybridization takes place between these two plant and a plant is formed where the embryo has formed so this is an example of intergeneric hybridization because potato and tomato belongs to different genera solenum and uh, lycopersicon and uh, in normal in nature condition in nature the embryo does not survive and it aborts so we can uh, just isolate the embryo of this plant and culture in a tissue culture medium so that embryo rescue takes place under artificial conditions so this was the example of intergeneric hybridization the second example is your example of say we we do a hybridization between lycopersicon esculentum and lycopersicon peruvianum so lycopersicon esculentum is your tomato uh, which is your normal cultivated tomato and lycopersicon esculentum is your peruvianum is a wild uh, species of tomato now uh, why this hybridization is done say, say to transfer the um, disease resistance or other stress tolerant properties of lycopersicon peruvianum and lycopersicon esculentum so this hybridization becomes interspecific hybridization because here the genera is same it is lycopersicon but the species are different say the uh, the embryo which is formed or the plant having the embryo is unable to germinate under normal conditions or the survival rate is very high so it is in this the embryo can be rescued by uh, culturing in artificial conditions so these are the two examples uh, where uh, we apply embryo rescue method and so as we have already discussed in first part of uh, the tissue culture in my um, under micro propagation topic that what are the artificial culture medium requirements for a tissue culture uh, medium so we have already discussed please refer to that lecture and uh, we have we just we will just briefly discuss here that uh, artificial culture medium is a basal medium which consists of macronutrients micronutrients vitamins minerals sucrose and agar agar and these different con constituents of the basal medium are required they uh, are required for nutrition of uh, the explant so in this particular example the explant is embryo and sucrose is your carbohydrate agar agar is a general is a gelling agent and we have eight different basal media which are enlisted here white snobs ms mt ls b5 nb sh and alloyed and macon and generally murashid and skog medium is used so these basal media are used and when they are supplemented with uh, hormones they become shooting medium or rooting medium so uh, so the explant is the plant part which is used to propagate the new plant and in this embryo culture technique our explant will be embryo and if this uh, embryo is uh, um, um, is uh, first cultured on a basal medium and then transferred to shooting and rooting medium and then the plant develops 
um, then it is transferred to soil so this is the basic uh, these are the basic steps which are done in any uh, protocol or the procedure applied whether it is micro propagation or embryo culture in a tissue culture lab so in this example here you can see that in a picture we have immature seeds then the seeds are first sterilized uh, using uh, the normal uh, fungicide and bactericidal solutions in a tissue culture lab and then after the uh, after the sterilized seeds the sterilization of seeds the embryo is isolated from the seeds by after peeling off the seed coat and then uh, say we have isolated the embryo so the embryo is isolated it is taken out from the endosperm and then it is cultured on the uh, medium so the medium can be basal medium or shoot supplemented medium or the uh, cytokinin and uh, oxygen supplemented medium and after some time say some after some weeks the embryo because embryo has already radical and plumule so it will develop into plants and then these plants after acclimatization they are transferred to soil so this is the whole procedure of a embryo culture in a plant tissue culture lab and say these are as we have we have we can see that uh, in this particular example which is of dryptis rock rock you can see that in a you have zygotic embryos isolated from a water soaked seeds and then b has uh, this is a mature zygotic embryo which is inoculated on ms medium supplemented with three percent sucrose uh, and c has that germinated uh, the embryo has germinated and d may d in d you can see healthy seed seedlings which are obtained on this medium and then uh, you have uh, here e uh, in e you can see that it is transferred to the rooting medium and in f you can see the ro roots have developed and in g the you you can see the whole plant has formed and it has been transferred to soil and this is another picture where you see that uh, in a there is a fruit from fruit you can see that the seeds are taken out and then the isolated embryos it is cultured uh, um, it is uh, uh, it is cultured and then on the medium and then it is developing into the whole plant and then it is transferred into uh, the soil so this is the whole process of um, embryo culture and in sometimes what happens that the embryo is isolated from the plant and it is encapsulated in uh, sodium alginate so so that it becomes an artificial seed or synthetic seed so here you can see in this picture uh, a picture is an embryo and this is encapsulated inside these um, sodium alginate and synthetic seed contains an embryo produced by somatic embryogenesis enclosed within an artificial medium that supplies nutrients and is encased in an artificial seed covering so this is another method where we can encapsulate the embryo and then we can directly use it for germination so i hope you have understood the topic students and please refer bhojpani and raslan uh, to understand this topic better and then you can also refer biotechnology by pk gupta or any other uh, textbook of tissue culture to read more about this so thank you students let us meet in next lecture